What is going on guys? Today we are looking at the 88 player pick. So it is obviously a brand new SBC during the time of obviously all of the preseason. We have got obviously the 87 times 10 available for another two days, but then we also have now an 88 plus. So it's six days. So it obviously it's continuing. It is a player pick, which is quite nice. And we will do obviously um, a little run through for it. So we are just going to go ahead straight and complete one. And then we'll kind of talk about the ways to craft it, how you want to be grinding it. If you do want to keep grinding, in the game to get the best players but we have got one sbc left which is just a standard gold rare we have got two players to put in it that now i cannot remember if i'm correct with these two players pretty sure it is them and i don't know that looks about right stindle we're going to put him in anyway. I wouldn't put him in normally, but I'm pretty sure that is correct. So we'll go low to high, obviously, and we'll just start whacking absolutely everybody in. Try and stay away from as many major leagues and nations um, just because we only need, uh, obviously, 30 chem as well, which is absolutely fantastic. And that's it. So let's get straight into the first one. And also, we do have the packs available as well, which we'll do after and we'll kind of talk about the best way to do it and obviously the most efficient way to do it so the 88 plus player pick we have obviously got our little screen over here oh, it oh okay it wasn't stindle so it was actually cruise so i need to turn my monitor off because that is how you do it and here we go then so yes we have got it perfect so the first one is going to be a path to glory straight off the bat which is fantastic we have got Zhao Felix, not a bad pull indeed, 88 plus, he is a 93, so we'll absolutely take that. The next one is going to be, I believe, a team of the season. What do we got? So it's red on the badge. We've got, oh, okay, 91, 91, right, last one is another team of the season, and... Oh, no, there's four. Damn it. <laughs> so, to be honest, let's just wipe this off. That isn't awful, but the problem I've got, and, and this is kind of going to be the realization of them, is that's an 82, an 81, and 11 gold rare. Why wouldn't you go do the 87? I get that this is a player pick, and really all we're doing with the 87 times 10 is constantly refreshing, but I just don't understand why we would do one to get one player when obviously there is a 87 times 10. Granted, that is not going to be here forever. That is fair enough. Um, but it just goes very, very redundant for me that we've got literally an 82, an 81, and then 11 gold rare, which predominantly could match out to an 80 rated SBC. Um, obviously, you could use all 75s, but realistically, all you've got to do there is an 83 and an 84, and you get 10 back. I, I don't know. It just seems logical to me to always be doing this 87 times 10 over that other one i don't know that's just personal to me but what we're going to be talking about today is how do we craft this one obviously we will talk about is it worth it and shall we first up gold pack right this is one of the free packs you get back we did get a rare obviously i believe these should be tradable like obviously the 87 times 10 we do get something back in these it is tradable so that is fantastic so we're gonna just go ahead and drop these down is portugal kit worth anything it might be. We'll, we'll give it a sell. You never know. We're in August. People may buy it. So, next pack, we've got a small Electrum. Sometimes they can be something. Sometimes they may not. So, it is kind of just a hit and miss with these. These are kind of just little little extras. If you get something in them, it's absolutely fantastic. And to be honest, silvers are where you want to be selling at the moment. Just because there is a lot of SBCs that do require them. How much is he going for? 1k madness right and we've got a center mid who is also going for say 700 and then obviously we keep the gold for ourselves and the final one the two player pack again they're not guaranteed rares and we don't get any rares so unfortunately not a good run there who did we actually get oh, gold and silver rares might do well let's give it a go might never know let's give it a go so then so we go to the spc what is the ways to be doing this? Because we have got a few different ways, to be honest. Um, obviously, straight off the bat, you've got League SBCs. If you are still grinding, hats off to you. We have obviously had the extra addition of the Sud and Lib. So I believe 
everything should be back now. Is La Liga back? La Liga's back, Prem's back. I'm pretty sure everything is back now. And obviously back for 33 days, so that pretty much takes us into FIFA 22, which is fantastic. Don't get me wrong, I'm really happy they brought them back. Whether I'd like it to be these, it, it just it isn't great. It, it's quite easy to grind, to be honest, but with the way that you've got to grind them, it just isn't great to do now. Like, it is easy, and you can do it pretty efficiently, but I just think at this point in the game, it isn't worth it to, to, to me personally. So, realistically, you have got that as an option. If you're still grinding league SBCs, there is obviously always that option to then put duplicates and off leagues into these. That That is always an option. The other option is obviously going ahead and using some coins. We obviously can go get the commons and um, personally just put in whatever back into it. And that pretty pretty much the, the most common method at the moment is using what we're getting. We are getting so many packs. It is unreal at the moment. We just got a complete SBC that gave us so many packs. It was unreal. Literally, it has stocked up the golds so, so nice. And literally, before like two, three days ago, I had zero golds in the club from doing the 87 times 10. So you can see the level of, of kind of build you can get. And I haven't done anything else. Like literally, just packs and SBC sees that there's what you got that's all i've been doing so that is an absolutely crazy amount of fodder to go back into it would i say this one's worth it probably not i personally for the two days that we've got left would be doing this sbc right here i think it just makes more sense putting 10 in because realistically with this one especially you only need to get like two maybe three extra big players or at least like 88s or something or 87s to go back into it if you don't have the golds if you have the golds if you get say a shoddy 10 that's fine you whack them all back in if you get a 98 you get a 99 you get somebody else somebody like a rashford who you want you can then go ahead and just keep him he's absolutely fine so for me i do think doing this one is going to be better it's going to be more beneficial and if you haven't seen the video for this go check the channel there is an 87 times 10 how to grind that and it's pretty much the same method the only difference with this 88 pick is there's only one pick available so for instance if i didn't want that felix i could put him back into this 82 rated sbc and make it so much cheaper the problem you've got then is obviously the 81 and obviously the gold rares gold rares to be honest you want to be getting as many commons and just obviously flipping them in i don't know let's have a quick look at the player market how much gold rares and gold commons are going for because we have the daily sbcs i know a lot of major league major nations are going for something so it might help if we're going to the transfer list but if we go to commons they are going for they're going for 500 but as you can see a lot of them in, in some good leagues but normally off nation like you can see a lot of uh american there not not the greatest league in terms of fodder uh, but then you look at obviously uh, south korea you've got japanese from the bundesliga you obviously got Swit uh what is it that's not Swit. yeah this switzerland isn't it or is it sweden Switzerland, yeah, I thought I was right. And then obviously Sweden in the other one. Um, so that isn't great there. Gold rares, how much are they coming in at? They're coming in, to be honest, they're coming in pretty expensive. I really didn't think they'd be this much. So they're coming in at about 2.3k a time. So if you want 11 of them, you're looking at what, 26k? If you was to buy them out, am I right? If the two, yeah, yeah, of course. There's eleven, so it's ten times uh, ten times two point four, and then obviously add the extra two k. You're looking at a decent amount of price there. I think for me, you could go ahead and buy commons, put them into the gold upgrade, and get it a lot cheaper. Um, or at least I think you can. Let's have a look. So let's do the maths live on the video. Uh, where's my calculator? So say if you could get them, you could bid on gold commons for five fifteen. I'm gonna say even five hundred to be honest. Eleven of them. That's five point five k. You may be losing out on like a K, but the chance of obviously getting a higher rated player saving you in the long run for the other SBCs is probably worth buying the commons and then going ahead and obviously doing the upgrade like that. Um, I think that's probably going to be the better way of doing it. Um, and then obviously once you've done that, you then kind of focus on the other teams, more commons, more upgrades. I wouldn't say go ahead and buy absolutely everything unless you're absolutely balling, then obviously by all means go and buy everything. I would just kind of sit here and just start crafting. You can obviously do the same method of going bronze upgrades to silver upgrades to gold, but that may take a while to get all this way up. And to be honest, you normally only get so many gold, so it's a kind of really, 
It's kind of a grinding method, but really, it just isn't that efficient. I would suggest that you definitely need to have some coins if you're going to be starting to grind this, because you're going to need to be buying commons and obviously putting in what sort of fodder you can in terms of from the two player packs and then kind of upgrade them from that way. But I think ultimately, I would say 87 times 10 is better. Um, the 88 plus pick is going to be a little bit harder to grind in terms of not spending coins. You're going to have to spend something to actually make it. But like I say, the, the a kind of good thing to do is I'll show you. So you want to go on the search filter and rack it up like this. I don't know if they are the same price, so hopefully they actually are. So if we go say 10 and a half and we go say 12k, they may be up. Oh God, yeah, okay, they are up a little bit. So they were at 11k each. That's, oh, that was so cheap, wasn't it? How much is he going for? 20, 90, 18k. Damn it, that's a bad miss. I really didn't think that he would be up that much, so... Oh my god. Um, is it me? Jeez, call me, call me a trader. Call me a trader. 20, 27k? Jeez, let's go. Right, mad. So that actually might not be a bad way of a little bit of a snipe there. Um, obviously, we'll we'll kind of undersell it a little bit just to get it gone. Obviously, class in there. I was just looking for the, the absolute lowest price, which looks like it's gone up loads. Literally, like, what on earth is this? Is it me? Oh, okay. I, I kind of get it now. So obviously, because there's only 100 impacts, these are literally the only things on the transfer list at the minute. So obviously, j just be careful with that. Um, I don't know how much do I lose tax on if I sell them for 18. May have to sell them for a little bit more than that. Um, 18 times 0.95. So it would make a little bit. Uh, we'll, we'll get him up for 19. Why not? If not, then no biggie. So again, ah, here we go. Look, so 17 and a half is where they're coming in at. So to be honest, you could just literally sit here at like 16 and a half and just keep flipping like this i don't know if this is going to be a viable way of doing it but to be honest we were doing the 11 11 to 12k method um which was basically looking at the 59th minute at about 11 11k to 12k and picking up anybody above 86 because or 87 i think it was because it just was so cheap it was unreal like we can look at 15k here i know he may not be worth loads but literally what 30 seconds worth of sniping and you've made like 4k again it's not a bad little viable option to actually do this um to be honest it actually makes a little bit of coin so for instance this guy bought him for 15 he's going for what 18.2 um if i work that out straight off the bat quickly that is a so me take away 15 that is 2.3k made in literally 30 seconds of just doing this Again, did we get him again? I, I don't, uh, yeah, literally. So again, we just go and whack him up for 18.5 this time. Again, it's the same principle. We've just made another K. And you could literally come here and sit and do this for hours. Like, this is just an easy way of doing it. You can literally just go ahead and pick up all of these under the budget. Because we know even if they were going for 17.5, you are still making prof uh, profit. 17.5 times 0.29 is 16 and 0.625. So that is what you're going to make after tax with them. So we know these guys probably going for at least 18 because of their rating. You could even drop it down a little bit more to obviously know that you are guaranteeing profit. But again, you may miss out on a big boy who was put up for a little bit over or a little bit under, for instance, of what he should be. So you don't want to be missing out on them. Kind of taking that little hit of maybe only making 100 coins compared to obviously going for the big, big one is completely it. So 87 probably isn't going to go for much we'll go for the eight and for the 1775 and hope for it but that is obviously because we've got a little bit of coins and a little bit of spare time but i think most definitely that's going to be another way to make the coins to spend the coins it's always a good option and to be honest we'll probably end up doing that i didn't even realize that they went up to 17 and a half you could have bought literally all of the team of the seasons at literally 10k from them 85s 86 and just sold them right now so another thing in the future maybe but i think for me the 88 i probably would leave alone um, i would be looking at the 87 times 10 for the last couple of times if you can and if you're not that bothered then obviously we're waiting for fifa 22 we've got to put out whatever we can hopefully you enjoyed the video let me know if you've got any questions and if you want any uh want any more advice make sure you drop a subscription and i'll see you for the next one pieces